Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the FTB Ultimate Reloaded Mod Pack. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing eh, okay, I guess. Uh, today's episode six, and I've got a shorter kind of an update episode planned for you guys today. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more of it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. So I'm not sure how long this episode's going to be, but I did want to get another video out because it's been a few days. So... While we're doing that, I'm going to craft a diamond chest, I think. And we're also going to open the game to land. Actually, we don't need cheats. We'll do that. So, um, cause I want to get some turtles excavating cause they have plenty of fuel. So let's do this. So let's make, um, if we can, let's make two diamond chests. So, uh, let's start from last Saturday. Last Saturday I was at, oh wow. I thought that they required six diamonds. Uh, last Saturday, I was at my brother's house and, you know, typical weekend, whatever. And I kind of noticed that sitting down was a little bit painful and I really wasn't sure why, you know, anytime you have that kind of situation, you sort of investigate the crime scene, um, if that makes any sense. And there wasn't really anything there. And I know that's a little TMI, but it goes poor with the story. So anyways, point is, so check, check everything out. Everything seems fine. Um, and I, there's just a lot of pain. So I'm like, okay, if this doesn't go away in like a day or two, I'm going to go to urgent care. So I go to urgent care. The doctor tells me I have one thing. I uh, really can't even remember the name of it, to be completely honest with you. She goes, I think you have this. I'm going to give you some antibiotics and it should fix it. Now, by this point, it's like pretty much I can't sit down at all in cars, seats, anything. So, um... So the doctor gives me the antibiotics. She says, this is a 10 day prescription for antibiotics. You know, take this and, you know, try to be basically just try to be cautious about what you're doing. And so I take that and this is about the time, you know, I'm still posting videos, but it's like super uncomfortable to sit down uh, pretty much in pain the entire time. Uh, let's see, we need some chests. Let me see, do I have any chests? Do I have any wood? Apparently not. All right, let's go get some wood real fast. Anyways, so um, that was Wednesday when I went to the uh, to the urgent care. Um, so, you know, Friday, Saturday, things have gotten a lot worse. Uh, I can notice that like sort of by my tailbone is swollen a little bit. Uh, not like exactly my butt, but my tailbone. And so I'm like... I can't really do anything. I'm just like laying there because it hurts so bad if I do anything. Like it was getting to the point to where it was starting to, oh, I think the game's first. Um, it was getting to the point to where the, like, it was even getting hard to move. Um, so I go back this time. The doctor's like, I know exactly what's wrong with you, which I'm not going to tell you because it's personal. But um, so she goes, this is the problem. She's like, we got to do a small procedure. So I go, I go in there and they, you know, they do the little procedure on me and it, like, I thought it was going to be painful, but, um, like I was wrong, man. Like I didn't feel a thing. She numbed, she goes, okay, here's the part that's going to hurt. I'm going to put the needle in you to numb you. And, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. You know, thinking like I I'm, I've had needles before I should be fine. And I'm, I'm like sitting there waiting and she's like, okay, I'm all good. I'm like, wait, you already did the needle. So I really didn't even feel the needle whatsoever. All right. So that was a good thing. Uh, let me check the refuels on these guys real fast. 19,000. 19,000. So um, when she started cutting, like with a scalpel, because it was just a tiny little cut she had to do, like I felt instant relief. Um, now, I think it was a cyst or something that was like pressing on my tailbone because the way that she was like talking about it, she's like, wow, that was disgusting. <laughs> so I'm not really sure like, you know, what, what, what it was, but it felt like a thousand times better once she uh, cut me open. And so she cleaned it all up and she told me like very explicit instructions on what to do. So I did that and I've been doing that. And so let's see, I went there on Monday so what's today, Wednesday? Today is Wednesday, yes. Um, there has a, been a noticeable difference in um, 
myself right now already. I can I can sit down, things like that. I can move like I was doing dishes yesterday. I couldn't even do dishes before. So uh, I think we're going to put our quarry like somewhere like right here. What we're going to do is we're going to have two uh, excavates back to back. Um, and then we're going to leave the game run and I'll go AFK. So we'll probably do excavate like 15 or something or 10 or eight or I don't know. For now, we'll probably just do eight, I think. So we need to make sure that we have a 16 by 16 area kind of dug out. All right. So let's just dig this out a little bit. So anyways, to get back to the story, today's Wednesday. Um, I have been doing the doctor's orders pretty much to the T. Um because the one the one thing that i've noticed like almost right away is that it's super hard to reach your tailbone when you're only a single person and you don't have anybody to help you i'm pretty much stretcher arm strong at this point two three four five six um but i am definitely i i notice a noticeable difference where she cut like the swelling the swelling is pretty much gone um you know it's still a little sore around the area obviously because you got cut with a knife but for the most part uh, I seem to be doing pretty well. I'm healing very good. You know what? I may not even need to do this now that I think about it. I don't think I'm going to need to do this. Okay, let me get rid of this wall right here just so we have a little bit of room to work with here. Um, but yeah, I can I can tell a noticeable difference. The one thing that's um, that's still kind of weird is like I'm still getting a fever. I like I'm a I'm a pretty big sweater like I sweat regardless like it's gonna happen but the thing is is that like I have never sweated this much in my life dude <laughs> I am sweating like I'm just sitting here right now and um like sweating buckets dude like I could probably fill like a five gallon bucket with my sweat it's disgusting not a fan all right, so if I'm not mistaken, I should just be able to do excavate and then let's say eight. Let's see what that does. I think it's going to go forward eight blocks. Yeah, and then come back the other way. I think it's going to do eight by eight if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. OK, that's not too bad. I did want to be able to see. See the quarry, though. All right. But uh, yeah, this this is kind of been a, uh, almost a like a, kind of a life changing thing for me uh, in terms of my health. I have always been really, really healthy. I've besides like I, I would say besides dental stuff like dental work, uh, I've really never had to have a procedure done before. And it's been pretty eye opening. And I asked her and I said, you know, what's the reason for this and she basically said i'm fat <laughs> she didn't say i'm fat she said my weight so moving forward like i know that i have attempted fitness stuff before but it's 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 not do or die but it's more it's personal this time because i feel like i really need to get you know get on that horse and really just do it this time um now when i attempted keto the last time I I did very good on keto. I actually um, ended up losing about 25 pounds on keto. And so, OK, and an update from that, too. When they weighed me at the doctor's office, I I think I came in at 353. Um, and if you were to look back at the old fitness updates, I was at like 380. So I'm down about 30 pounds already. And I think that's from keto. Um, so let's do excavate. Eight. There we go, um, which is good. And that's that's fantastic. So what I think I'm going to do is once I'm healthy again, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and just start going to the gym. And me going to the gym isn't a matter of like, oh, I got to go to the gym. I don't mind working out. But the problem was is that I, I still don't have a car. And so the gym costs money for me. I mean, it already costs money, but it costs extra money because I have to Uber there. But um, I have been saving to get out of debt and I'm very, very close to being there. I just need to wait for my taxes to come back. Um, what's he doing now? Is he going down a block? Wait a second. Uh, what? O okay. Hold on. Excavate eight. What is he doing? <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so going forward, I think my health has got to be number one priority. Um, 
and it should have been already. It just, I'm, you know, I don't know. Uh, but the good thing is, is that I really do know how to exercise well. I, you know, I, as you know, a lot of you know that I played sports in high school and things like that. And so for me, exercising is more about at this point motivation, but now I've got that motivation. The motivation's there. So once I am fully healthy and can do all the stuff that I need to do to be able to go to the gym, that's like, that's going to, I'm going to kill it. And I, another thing that it, this, this taught me is that. I need to be more prepared on YouTube. I need to either think of some sort of system, which I've kind of already thought about, right? And so when I say I need to be more prepared on YouTube, I mean like maybe one day I sit down and record a challenge mod pack or something and just never upload it and just leave like 30 videos stagnant in my box because I have like this video box that I upload to um, just sitting there. And maybe one day I'm not able to post or there's like a week where I'm gone or something. And I have those videos ready because that to me is like me being my own boss and especially not having insurance and then not being able to post videos on top of that. That's not good. So I've got to be more prepared. I've got to take better care of myself. A lot of things. And uh, you're probably wondering, like, Jevin, why am I telling you all this? I consider you guys like my close friends and family, man. You have been there for me when a lot of other people haven't. And so I like to talk to you guys straight up. You know, this is what's going on in my life. Uh, things like that. So that is what is going on with me. I will be, uh, I have a, I have a friend that I have been talking to about all of this and she's a nurse. Uh, and she's been giving me like health tips and things like that. And so, uh, she says that it's healing quite nicely. Um, <clears throat> there's no time frame on when I'll be back full on for streams and videos, but Hey, I've been sitting in a chair for 11 minutes straight. I mean, I'm in pain, but it's not like, like killing me pain. It's more like, like a stinging kind of constant pain. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, and I can actually clean my apartment now. That's very exciting. So that is what's been going on with me, guys. I hope that uh, I hope that you appreciate this update or not appreciate it. But, you know, I hope you take this update to heart because, you know, your health is very, very important. And, you know, a lot of the times a lot of people kind of neglect that. So with that being said, guys, I think I'm probably going to end the video here because I don't want to sit down too long. So, um uh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say something else. I can't remember. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember on the channel, Jarrett. Jarrett was the first person to ever make me a custom Minecraft mod. He wrote me a script uh, for the for the mining turtles to be able to do like way cooler stuff. So I might use that soon, too. We'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.